Sorry. Are we live? Yep, we are, we are live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so me and Maddie's role on the committee is just to organize the meetings, make sure that everyone does their roles, mm -hmm. and just ensure that whatever you say to us gets gets put to the committee. And also we are like the John Manetta voice outside of the hall, so we talk to like the university and other student students in different halls and like figure out how to make hall life better. Yeah, yeah that's we, basically it. <laughs> and we make sure that the traditions and you know how things work around here get passed on to the new committee members. Hi, I'm Caitlin, I am your deputy senior student and my role in the hall is to basically help out the senior students with anything that they need me to and I organise things like hall t-shirts, hall jumpers and the hall photo. My role in hall is secretary which means that I just sit in the, me uh, the meetings and take minutes however I want um, which is usually pretty relaxed like they're not supposed to be formal or strict or anything like that. So I'm the treasurer of John Manette so basically that means I do all the stuff to do with the money so we get a certain amount of money at the start of the year for organising events and I try to sort of help budget that so that we get lots of different events throughout the year and try and keep everyone happy. Hi, I'm Lauren, I'm Emma, and we're the JBH events coordinators for next year, or this year I guess. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. Um, as events coordinators, we're going to um, plan a lot of events during Freshers Week and the rest of the year. We do pre's, um, hall ball, uh, movie nights, that kind of thing. My name is Mary, I'm the head warden at John Burnett Hall, and I have a team of three assistant wardens. And our role in Hall is just to be there as a source of support and guidance and also we're there overnight for any emergencies that might happen. So if you have any kind of medical emergency or emotional crisis, there's always somebody here to talk to, to give advice and to get you the help that you need. My favourite memory in John Burnett was walking into my room for the first time because I was surprised by how big it was mm -hmm. and also I had a really nice view. So. Mm. That's what I enjoy, and all of the rooms here are just way better than you'd expect. So, my favourite memories from this year are probably the formal meals. My favourite whole tradition would probably be the formal meals that we have. My favourite whole memory is every single formal meal we've ever had, ever. This year we had three in the first semester, and then one in the second semester. We all get to dress up fancy, and then go and eat a meal together. It's just so chaotic, it's so much fun. The catering team always make a big effort with whole meals to make the dining room look beautiful. And then we'll all like go to a Kaylee afterwards, or something like that. If people go to leave early, everyone hits the spoons on the table and makes a big racket, and it's all quite funny. I just remember especially my first formal haul this year, and just feeling Yes, this is really a community, like looking around the room and seeing all of these faces that have become familiar over the last few weeks and just kind of going, yes, this is, this is us. Yeah, our favourite tradition is definitely the sort of feud we have with Uni Hall, which is one of the other university uh, accommodations. Uni, uni Hall. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> from the, the minute tall. you come to John Burnett, you're not allowed to be friends with you. Well, no, no, you can, but like... One of my favourite hall traditions, if you can call it tradition, is uh, we have a games room right outside the canteen, so pretty much after every single meal you can go straight in there and play Mario Kart. I literally play Mario Kart after every meal, and a lot of people do the same. Um, this isn't really a whole tradition, but there's been a lot of thanks this year, and I'm pretty sure that'll continue. Like. Uh, your current head student, Ryan, or one of them, he put this in my room, this bathtub, filled it with water, uh, so I couldn't get it out. Cool. Yeah. So one of my favourite traditions for John Burnett is clan warfare. So my favourite memory from being in John Burnett Hall this year was definitely clan warfare. Yeah, whole memory. Uh, it's, it's definitely going to be clan warfare. It's something that happens very early on in Freshers Week, so you don't really know people yet. It's just this incredible bonding experience. So we all wear our t-shirts and go to the union together. You know, like competing with all the other, all the other halls um, in a sort of like friendly but also very competitive way. Everybody feels that they somehow have this identity as part of a community. Everybody wears their John Burnett t-shirts. It's a really good way to get to know people. Uh, I, I think we should have won, but you know, we didn't. It was still fun going. We are going to win this year. My favourite hall tradition is the songs. I love the singing. I think it's very festive, it's very fun. When we all go to clan warfare marching down the street singing, it's just good camaraderie and whatnot. The songs are the chants about JBH. We're very patriotic about our hall. Yeah, so she will learn when you get here, trust me. Yes. So my favourite memory of John Bonnet is probably the John Bonnet Hall Ball. And they've happened in the past about sort of February, March time. 
and we go to Forgan's in town and we have a nice meal all of us together and then have a bit of a Kaylee. Before I've been, I came up here to St Andrews, I've never actually been to a Kaylee before, but it's just quite good fun, sort of Scottish dancing. It's really nice because you get to sort of dance and talk to lots of different people in hall and have really nice food as well. Uh, my favourite hall memory was when I first got here and went to a church sale and I got this giant 1500 piece puzzle, put it on a table in front hall and literally there was always someone there working on it. It was such, it was such a mood and yeah. I got it done very quickly. <laughs> so I brought my friends. <laughs> my favourite memory is probably garden party in first year because it was just like really sunny and like everyone came together and it was just like a, a great end of the year but also like also great memories just sitting in front of hall until like ridiculous hours talking about this shit. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> yeah. uh, if I could give one piece of advice to the incoming freshers, it would be get a Tesco club card. Like you use Tesco all the time, I swear. Some people go every single day. The club card will save you money. I am stupid and I didn't do it, <laughs> but you should. You really should. My piece of advice would probably be to either bring like an umbrella or a good raincoat. I mean, umbrellas are great, but it can also get quite windy here, so if you bring an umbrella, make sure it's like a good strong umbrella. <laughs> I've had many occasions when my umbrella has blown inside out, so it's not great. You do laundry with a friend, it's more fun, it forces you to actually get it done, <laughs> and laundry here is not that cheap, so it saves you a bit of money as well. Yeah, my bit of advice is definitely just make the most of Freshers Week, talk to everyone, it's like one of the best times to get to know as many people as you can. Don't be daunted, don't be afraid about coming to John Burnett. Everyone here is in the same situation, everyone wants to make friends, and everyone is really friendly. Don't pressure yourself too much into finding like new friends uh, too soon, like it, it'll happen naturally. I think, especially if you're a first year, the whole thing is probably quite daunting, coming away to university and everything being so new and so different. But you come here and really, very, very quickly, you find that you're part of a community. If you put yourself like fully into it, then you're like guaranteed to have a great life in home. So just take a deep breath, stay calm, and everything will be fine. It'll be a really good week. Playboy girls are so much sexy. Playboy girls are so much pretty. Playboy girls have a dance, let's have a party. Playboy girls, she's a lady. Playboy girls have So you could have a kind of no it's not when you switch. <laughs>